Hi, my name is Toria and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another figure unboxing that I wanted to share with you and today it is my first ever pop-up parade figure. So you may or may not know pop-up parade are kind of a new line that Good Smile Company have started to release recently and they're kind of a little bit more I suppose budgety. They're I think around sort of 30 40 pound mark so they're not too expensive and they've done they've started to do a lot of different characters and um, anime and all sorts with the pop-up parade line of course they bought out Miku in one of the earlier figures and my husband just had to have it so today I'm gonna unbox her and I'm really excited to sort of see what sort of quality pop-up parade um, figures are gonna be like and yeah let's open her up so the box is pretty huge like <laughs> I'm not overly keen on the size of the box for the figure. I mean, I mean, her hair does take up quite a lot of room, but there is a lot of like excess plastic. It's a little bit unnecessary and I like to keep the boxes after I've unboxed figures. So one this big and also this plain, I, I don't know, we'll have to see in the future um, if I end up keeping pop-up parade boxes, if they're all gonna be this big. But yeah, there's nothing like that exciting going on. It's not. As nicely designed as sort of the Nendoroids that we usually get from Good Smile but yeah just the clear sides you can see inside the back is a bit of sort of artwork in the colors of Miku and here's Miku out of the box you can see there's there's just so much like excess plastic I guess it's to protect her but I don't know this seems particularly excessive so we've got her base at the bottom here I quite like this this is quite nice it's a nice plastic actually, it's quite um, firm and I like the colour green on it. And then I have Miku and I also have part of her stand I believe. So my first impressions are her hair is very bouncy, like, oh gosh. <laughs> she has a really, like, these are really small on the back of her head, they're at a really fine point and these are very sort of Oh, I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't take very much to you would you wouldn't want to drop this. You'd probably snap her hair off. <laughs> her overall quality is quite nice for the price. I do feel like it's not quite as nice as I thought it was gonna be, admittedly, but it's not bad. She's just very small. I feel like as she's so small, maybe the quality could have been a little bit higher, or maybe she could have been a bit bigger for this quality, if that makes any sense. But she is sweet. I like her little dress actually, or her little jacket type thing on with the sort of see-through material in. And I'm a little bit worried about her face in the box, like looking a bit odd, because you know, figures quite often the face can make or break it. But I actually quite like her face out of the box. Like her head looks a little bit small in that huge box, but out. No, I think she looks quite nice actually. I'm just really worried about her hair. Her hair is a lovely gradient as well, although there is some, it's a little bit messy, I have to say. There are some sort of dings in there and stuff. Let me get her on her stand. I have these two parts as well to help support. They might be for the hair, actually. I'm gonna guess, although I don't think there's any instructions in this one. No. I've done some googling and I've fiddled around with this and I can't work out what these are for. I really can't. It's really bizarre. I mean, I'm gonna, my, my guess would be that there'll be hair supports of some description. But as you can see, this one isn't actually tall enough to, to do anything for her hair. I guess, unless you're meant to Put it like that but then you're just really like i said these are really flimsy and i'm really worried they'll snap if you bend them into this position and this one i'm completely because there's only one way that these can go in they've been cut in a way and this one i just i have no idea i'm gonna i think i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna go and google it again but i think i will display her without the hair supports because I don't know, that's really odd and there's no instructions. 
If you know how these work, if you've got this Miku, then please let me know in the comments because I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, um, overall, I think she's really sweet. I'm not, I feel like, I was hoping the pop-up parade would be like a little bit nicer than this. Um, she's not bad and she's not bad for the price either. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It was probably about £35. Um, so she's not too bad. And I have a few more pop-up parades, um, I think, pre-ordered. I know I have the Your Name ones pre-ordered. And do I have any more? Possibly. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, I, I'm not blown away a pop-up parade. So I think it'll be more of a um, one that I'll really, really want. Um, just compared to the quality of sort of scales and enderoids, I'd rather spend a little bit more and have something that, that's really, really nice. But yeah, like I said, she's not bad. Her paintwork is nice and her outfit's nice. She's got some nice detailing on her clothes. There's some creases and stuff. And her face is actually really nicely done as well. Her eyes are very pretty and her hair is cool. It's just, it's not that neat and... Yeah, I think it is what it is, really. But um, yeah, that is Miku. And I'm going to take some close-ups now so you can see her properly. So let's have a look at those. That was my unboxing video of our first ever pop-up parade figure. I, if you got the impression in this video, I've got mixed reviews about it. I think it's it's a, it's okay quality for what the price is. I'm not blown away. I wish it was a little bit higher quality. So I'm not sure how many more pop-up parades I will be collecting in the future. But yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more unboxings in the future, then please do subscribe. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.